Hey everyone, so I wanted to start off with something a little bit more serious than usual. Um, this is really about my channel and how I feel about it and, you know, just things regarding that. So, um, bottom line is, I'm not very satisfied with my channel and what's been going on with it. And the reason being is not because of you guys, but it's more of like an internal conflict with myself. Um, I just feel like there's a sort of disconnect with my community, and, well, that just feels like it's my fault. The reason why is because I just... I think I'm afraid of you guys. That, I mean, that's kind of the easy way to put it, but uh, to go more in-depth with it, there are times, every time I upload a video, I feel anxious. I feel anxious that at some point I'm gonna mess up, or maybe I made a typo somewhere, uh, maybe I I said I want to freaking die in the title. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember that, but um, anyway, just little mistakes like that. Oh, that one wasn't a little mistake, but you get the idea. Little mistakes such as that, that I, I'm just afraid of making for some reason. I, I feel like maybe the problem is that I hold myself to such a high standard that I get really anxious whenever I make a mistake. And that's why even during live streams, when um, when I do something wrong, I get very nervous and shaky and I apologize like 7,000 times. It, it's something wrong with me, I feel. Like, I don't know if maybe I just can't really handle the audience that I have, or, and that's what's causing the disconnect between me and you guys. Or, there's another reason why I think that may be the case, and it's because I don't really put myself out there. I mean, all I do is make music, upload it, people listen to it, and that's it. Next week or next whenever, whenever I post another song or remix or whatever, that's when people see me again, if you catch my drift. There's not much of me talking to you from person to person. There's more just, here's a song I made. Okay. You done? Alright. Here's another song I made. Okay? No? Well, anyway, you, you get the idea, um, but, um, yeah, as an example, um, back in 2015, I used to do a lot of live streams, and sometimes I would even post, like, little silly videos that were, like, 10 seconds long, and I just had, I had a community, I had a group of people that were happy to see me, that were happy to hear from me, especially in live streams, I would just play whatever game, it doesn't matter what game I played, uh, I remember there was a time where I played Ocarina of Time, and I couldn't even finish it because, well, the ROM kind of broke down and froze at some point. It was something sometime after the Fire Temple. But, um, either way, right? That's not the point. The point is, I played anything, and people were just happy to see me there. People were just happy to talk to me and interact with me on live streams. And I just, I don't know why, but I just don't feel that same way when I live stream nowadays. I just feel more afraid to do anything, really. And that's what's making my channel as inactive as it is. And, you know, every now and then I used to post, like, shit posts. I used to post, like, some random silly video of... Uh, as an example, there was this one Mystery Dungeon clip where uh, it was a Charmander saying... So what do you think of our place? And I just say, This house fucking sucks! <laughs> and somehow, like, it was just a funny little video and a lot of people laughed along with me because I thought it was funny and they thought it was funny. It was nice, you know. But nowadays, I don't think I would even dare to post something like that. And I don't know if it's maybe due to copyright issues, if it's maybe due to my uh, audience being a lot different than what it used to be, or maybe it's just that disconnecting feeling again. So, I stated what the problem is. And I'm trying to find a solution, but I feel like the solution is just to be more personal, be more out with things, and be more open about myself on this channel, because you don't really see this face often. Not that you'd want to, but it, I, the point is, I don't really make this channel as personal as I'd want it to be. I, I don't really, I don't think a lot, this could be the first time that a lot of people have seen my face, actually. I've said that I wanted to take a different approach to this channel, not like stop music altogether and do something else completely, but more like, you know, kind of be a hybrid of some, a few things. 
Now, the reason why I've been so afraid of taking that next step is because I'm just afraid that people won't give me a chance. I'm afraid that people will just see that there and just kind of skip it along and won't even give me the time of day because they don't give a fuck about me. They give a fuck about the music that I make. And well, as heartbreaking as it is, that's just the truth with some people. They're not bad people for thinking that way. You can't blame them. They came for something and if they don't get what they want, they're gonna leave. It's just how the world works. But I'm just afraid that I guess maybe it's a majority of my audience that feels that way. That if they see me trying to, you know, trying to be there, trying to be out with myself, open, I can't really find the right words, I apologize if the wording is a bit awkward, then that would be the death of my channel. That, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of that being the final nail in the coffin. So I feel like really the problem is I need to grow some fucking balls and do what I want to do with the channel because the problem is I'm just sitting here in fear, only making music, and that's starting to be slower and slower. And I feel like the dissatisfaction with my channel is what's making me less motivated to make more music. So it comes in full circle and I have to break that circle somehow. So if you see drastically different content from here on out, now you know why. <laughs> but uh, anyway, for those of you who have stayed listening for this longest time, I'd like to thank you. I mean, it, it really, I, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart that you would listen this far. Because, you know, not a lot of people can sit through a person just rambling about themselves for like seven minutes. I'd like to th thank the airplane as well for uh, actually being pretty quiet throughout this video. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty nice of it. Anyway, but um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for listening, and hopefully I'll stick to my word. I really hope so, because I just, I, I just hate the fact that I'm so afraid of doing what I want with my own channel. And to be honest, there are a lot of YouTubers that are like that too. But regardless, uh, thank you again. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for listening this far. And I'll see you in the next video.